Hey everyone, it's John here. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at building this interactive KPI data card to display HR headcount or person count. So let's take a look at how we can build this step by step. Let's get into it. So to start, we've got our data set inside of an Excel table. And the only thing we're gonna use in this data set is we have a column here for gender. So this is what we're going to be counting, and then we're gonna create a bar chart based on that. Now, in another sheet, we've also got a few icons here. And you can find icons off the web, or if you want, you can add them from Excel. So if you go to the Insert tab and click on Icons, then you'll be able to add in icons from here. And so here is one of the icons that I'm using. And one thing to note is that I cropped my icons so that inside of the bar chart, they appear closer together. And you can color these however you like. So you can select it and then go up to the format tab and select whatever fill color you like. And so these are gonna be the shapes that we use in our bar chart. So first up, let's insert a pivot table. So we're just gonna select a cell in our sheet and go to the insert tab and create a pivot table from table slash range. And here we're just gonna select our data set. So I'm gonna select anything in my table and press control A and it's gonna select the entire sales table here. And then we can press okay. And we're gonna add a couple of fields in here so in the rows area, we're gonna add our gender fields and we're also gonna add it in the values area and that way we're gonna get a count of each. And in the filters area, we're also going to place our department field. And let's just move this down a little bit so that we have room for our filter. And let's add in our department field there. And we're also going to add in a slicer. So up in the Analyze tab, let's insert our slicer for our department and press OK. And the reason for adding this filter field here is just so that we can tell what department we're filtered on with our slicer. So when you select items here, then it's gonna appear in this filter. And when it says all, we're gonna have that say all departments. And so we're just gonna create a if function for that. And we're just gonna test and see if this cell here is equal to all. And if it is, we're just gonna label that as all departments. And otherwise we're gonna return the department value from that cell. And then based on that, we're going to have a label and that's just gonna say headcount in which department. And now we're gonna get a total headcount for our KPI card. And here we're just gonna press equals and then reference our grand total here. And that's gonna automatically create our get pivot data reference to that cell. And now we've got the total headcount and we can use that in our card. Now we're going to insert our bar chart. So let's select our pivot table and Go to the insert tab and we're gonna add in our pivot chart here. And here we're gonna do a bar chart and press okay. And now what we're gonna do, instead of a solid fill color, we're gonna use these icons. So first I'm gonna select this guy and press control C. And then I'm gonna individually select the male bar here, right click and format that data point and go to the formatting options. And under fill, we're gonna do a picture and the picture source will just be from our clipboard, which we just copied. And right now it's just stretching out that individual image. So what we wanna do is stack them like that. And we're gonna do the same thing for our female data point. Control C, right click and format that. And we're gonna do the same picture from clipboard and we're gonna stack those. Now we also wanna fix our axis. So from zero to hundred. 
so that it's not going to change depending on what we're filtered on. So let's right click that and go to format axis. And here you can see that they're automatically being set. So we're just going to write over that zero and press enter. And we'll also do a thousand and press enter. And now they're no longer automatically being set. And then we're just going to delete some of the items in our chart. So we can delete these grid lines. We can delete our legend and delete our axis and get rid of these buttons. So if we right click on them, hide all field buttons, delete this axis and our chart title as well. And then we're just going to resize this. And let's right click and format our data series. And here we're going to change this gap width so that there's not much space between these. And so let's try 50%. And we can also select our plot area and just increase this so that it's as big as our chart area as well. And lastly, what we're going to do is go up to the format tab and remove our outline. And so this is going to be used in our KPI card. And now we're also going to insert some of these items. So here we're going to go to the insert tab and insert a text box for the company name. And with that selected, we're going to go up into the formula bar and reference our company name here. And here we've got a image logo. We can right click on that and go to picture and cell. And here we're going to create a reference to that. And I'm just going to copy and paste this. And here we're going to reference our label. And here, actually, we're just going to have the label and we don't need the company name here. So we're going to use this one to reference our headcount. And let's increase that size a little bit. And lastly, we're going to add a shape for our background. So let's go to the insert tab and here we're going to add a rounded rectangle shape. And here we're going to go up to the format tab. And here let's use a white background and a light gray for the border. And right now, it's overlapping everything. So we're going to right click and go to send to back so that it's in the background. And here I'm just going to press control and select both of these and then go to the format tab and remove the outline from them. And here let's press control or hold control and select all of these. And then we can go to the format tab and group them together. And then we're going to select our chart, hold control and select this and our background and format. And then we're going to align those in the center and we can group them. And there we go. We've got our headcount KPI data card and it's going to be dynamic so we can select in the slicer and filter on our various different departments and our card is going to update accordingly. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one and we'll see you in the next video.